Hey everybody, I'm Annie. Um, I decided to do a little tutorial today, a DIY, on these festive pots that I'm making in my garage today. Now I am in northern Minnesota. It is freezing already. And so we got to get a jump start on this because once these freeze, you have to bring them in and unthaw them and it's just not ideal. So what I've done is I have got my birch. I've already spray painted my pot, put some dirt in. It is wet dirt and it works. Um, actually it works fairly good. We've had a really wet season this year, so it, it's fine. Um, anyways, I got three different kinds of greens. I like the diversity. Um, and I've already put my birch, put these in here. Birch is a lot harder to find than you would think. Um, I initially saw these a few years back and thought that I was going to just go out in the woods and get some birch, but the problem is, is the pretty white sticks are on the top of the tree. So I was proactive this year and I went and had a tree, he's a tree trimmer, I had him save me some. So I got my birch that way. Um, basically what you want to do is fill this. And as you can see, there's always kind of an arch to these. You want that to go out. Whichever, whichever one you start using. Also, these are great. I found these and they have cut through some major, major birch pieces. So you don't want them to be really long. So once it sticks out a little too far, it starts looking lopsided and it's just not. So what I have done is I'll stick them in here. And if they stick out a little too far, you just pop it back out, trim it a little bit and put it back in and then you'll be fine. I really liked, I'm going to keep going with these. I like the, the ones that stick up. I like those in the middle. The ones that are a little stiffer with smaller, smaller needles on them. I like those in the middle because they tend to stick up and they stay up versus one of these where they kind of droop. So obviously this is way too long. I'm gonna have to trim this little guy. But basically what you want to do is just keep going around the outside and putting in your greens until it fills up. Now, I just went out yesterday and got all this stuff. And I know it's not even Halloween yet, but up here, it's just not fun to do these things when snow is falling and your pots are frozen. So I'm starting early. So as you can see, I'm just going around and I am putting in all these little pieces. Now, once you get to the point where you really like it, I'll, I'll fill this in a little bit more. I also, when I was out there, found some sticks and I spray painted them red. So we have a nice little pop of color. This one's a little crazy, so I'm gonna trim it back a little bit before I put it in. But I love 
the red. I love the pop of color. This is my big helper. <laughs> um, so anyways, there you have it. You want to cut your greens um, as soon as it is a hard frost. You don't want to put these in the house. The needles will fall off. It has to stay cold because once the sap cart starts running through, the needles will all fall off. So anyways, that's my tutorial. <laughs> Hope you guys uh, have a great day. Thanks for watching.